Oké, okay, hallo. Welkom back bij mijn video's. In deze video zal ik je show you how to build a Newman motor. Uh, in a proper way and with the proper tools. Uh, I've been uh, busy with prefabricating some things and uh, I will go slowly over it what is all the parts and uh, everything you will see here is uh, everything you need to make a successful motor that uh, can spin like this one. This one is already uh, spinning now for three days. So, uh, it's a very nice motor or engine. So, let's go over the parts. First, to begin, make this out of a uh, small PVC. Um, I can show you a bit what is the uh, diameter. So, this is the diameter. Like a four and a half. Um, what you have to do is uh, make a cut it really uh, precise, because otherwise it's uh, it's not going to be correct on the uh, on the wood. It's going to be like this or like this or like that, and you want it to have it straight. Uh, another thing is you have to drill a hole that is exactly the opposite of the other side. Uh, you can do that when you have the correct measurements of where you have to, where you're gonna place the shaft, like this. Then you can take uh, with a pen. You can mark it. Uh, for the rest, I have uh, some uh, small holes here, um, which you can see. Uh, on my bigger version, that it is very nice to uh, keep the uh, keep the cylinder. Uh, I do this with uh, as most as I can with plastic because uh, all iron things uh, around the motor are just things that may slow it down. Um, okay, wooden blocks. Uh, these wooden blocks are coming like this. So you can have a nice distance. Uh, these are uh, six nail magnets, very strong, very very strong magnets. Uh, two little screws like these. Uh, these are necessary uh, when I gonna stick the uh, the magnet to uh, the coil or to the shaft um, you need some spacers to make to let the magnets not uh, yeah, stand equally uh, straight like this so you can place there on top you can place uh, the magnets so they don't uh, swift around um, if you got the magnet proper in place uh, and then you can start uh, gluing or uh, all these kind of things. Uh, if you're going to do it low power and not really uh, full power yet, then uh, you won't uh, need any glue because the magnets will stay on the on the shaft. Okay, um, to make the coil, you need uh, magnet wire. And uh, I'm really not a fan of uh, f driving for any kind of little piece that I need to the to the radio shack. I even hate these people because they always have a big mouth over what you have to buy or what you have to do. So um, yeah, I just open up a transformer and uh, yeah, it's some work, but uh, it pays off. Free wire. Um, I do this already for years. That's why you can see this big stack of uh, electronic parts here. Uh, maybe 10% of what I have here is uh, original uh, bought in uh, a radio shack or something. Um, 
Okay, um, these are some optional things. Uh, I took them from uh, from uh, some R RC cars. Very nice metallic uh, parts. Because I want to use this motor also for some load tests. And the shaft, I make a, a little gap here. So uh, I can screw this thing on. And uh, yeah, I use the, the power of the motor uh, for something. Um, I need some of these things to uh, connect uh, the commutator, to connect the wires that has to go into the coil, um, an electric switch to put it on and off. Um, you don't need big wire, so uh, the best wire uh, I suggest is uh, Telephone wire, uh, solid copper telephone wire, very important, solid copper. Uh, here I have some biopolar uh, uh, capacitors rating 100 volt uh, 10 uh, microfarads. I'm going to bind them together to get a higher voltage, and that's going to go across the coil. I will show you later uh, how all the electrical things are connected. Um, for the rest, you need some uh, tape, some tie wraps, a ruler, a CD pen, a wire cutter, a small crosshead screwdriver, and a big one. Some glue. And some measurement tool. You also might need a, a multimeter, but it is that's for a later stadium. Uh, and I forgot. Uh, these are uh, ball bearing holders, also uh, used from uh, parts that I had from my uh, radiographic cars. Um, they're actually identical, so they are not mirrorized. So I'm going to use them like that. This one, that side, to get the same uh, opposite uh, view. Uh, yeah. Well, in my next video, I will show you uh, the build up from it. Um, I'm gonna go to a next stage, and that is like a raw uh, setup of the uh, the big materials, the coil, the bell, uh, ball bearing holders, and the shaft. Um, okay. Well, see you in the next video.